Oh! I didn't see you there. Sorry, I was busy repping my friend's mug. Merchandise, if you will. Why aren't I repping my own merchandise? I don't own any of it. Yet. <laughs> I am Diablo Re, as you may or may not know. I am the bald gamer. I am the hashtag slowly taking over the internet. Very, very slowly, like a snail's pace. Like, slower than a snail's pace. Like, if a snail had no pace at all, and consequently, no pulse, either. And it's like 120 degrees in Arizona heat, and it's just dead. Okay. <laughs> this is Diab's update, and we're gonna talk about a few things. I wanna talk about God of War. I played that on stream like a month ago, and just as of today, New Game Plus is out, and God of War is an amazing game. It's an 11 out of 10. It is the reason to buy a PlayStation 4. For anyone who doesn't have one already, you will not regret it, and if you regret it, tough shit. Speaking of the PlayStation 4, I have actually pre-ordered the PlayStation 4 Pro Spider-Man Edition, which will come out next month, and I decided that I'm gonna... I spilled earlier. I decided that I... <laughs> My drink, I spilled my drink earlier. I decided that I'm gonna keep the PS4 Pro. I'd rather have the God of War edition, but no big deal, no big deal. Just briefly, I wanna talk about some upcoming games. We got Life is Strange 2, which I am very excited for. The adventures of the the boy and with the dad who was drunk watching basketball. Prequel thing. Let's just put the, the name of it up here. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to the sequel. Life is Strange was an amazing game. Hashtag Mad Max. Hashtag Remember Joyce. Before the Storm. Life is Strange Before the Storm was basically just teenage angst mode. And wasn't that fun. But you got to see a little bit of Chloe. And if anyone's thinking, Dab, when did you play Life is Strange? When did you play the boy one? When did you play Before the Storm? Well, all of those VODs are on the Twitch channel, and all future streams will be saved publicly to YouTube. It's a new change that I decided to adhere to, because the content isn't quite coming out as fast as possible. But that's also because I'm streaming four nights a week, and I am really enjoying being engaging with you guys, and just having a blast four nights a freaking week. Why'd you talk like that? I don't know. <clears throat> what else is coming out that I'm excited for? Well, we got Red Dead Redemption 2 due out this fall. I know we got Call of Duty. I'm probably not going to play that. What, is there a new Battlefield as well? Probably not going to play that. We'll see what happens. Seven Days to Die will have Alpha 17 patch hitting at some point. And they announced a while ago an opportunity to be able to play, stream, and record Alpha 17 early but you had to have at least 5,000 subscribers on YouTube or 5,000 followers on Twitch. And guess what? I fit the bill on YouTube only. Hey, guys, I'm on Twitch. Check it out. <laughs> the link will be in the description. But all this is if Alpha 17 comes out this year. I don't know. I like Seven Days to Die, though. Speaking of zombie survival games, I just bought, just like 10 minutes ago, a game called Mist Survival. It's a zombie survival game. It's single player, but it's brand new. It's gotten some good reviews so far, and I want to play that. Just spilled. I want to play that tonight and record a session and see how it goes. So you'll get to see that very soon. I really want to talk about things that I'm currently doing, like my current plans and gaming and streaming. I played the Gorge event and DST, and while that was fun, it was brief. And I would like to hopefully eventually keep playing Don't Starve Together with Paige and some other friends that they want to join and get some more videos of that out because I know it's been a while and I've been playing the adventure mode and don't starve ever since I lost my save file for the thousand day challenge. I'm still upset about that. Adventure mode is a new and interesting challenge but I'm getting a bit weary on the fact that I'm not very good at it and I need to take time to, to learn and progress whereas I'm already at a very um, experienced level at just surviving the main game. So it's a different, weird feeling for me, and I'm hoping you guys enjoy those videos as I get them out. I'm also still toying with the idea of updating the survival guide for Don't Starve Together. The current one still works. There's a few kinks and changes that have happened. The twiggy trees. I hate twiggy trees. Juicy Jerry's. Those bushes. Ooh, they're juicy. <laughs> 
And I don't make farms anymore. I don't touch farms. It's a waste of time. It's a race. Ooh, it's a race. A race against what? A race against that. It's a waste of time, a waste of resources, and let's move on. Subnautica, we had a nice playlist going for a while, and I was going to keep editing those videos, but those are all Twitch VODs, and if you want to watch them, you can head over there. We're moving on and moving up, because I really want the DLC. I think they've hinted at DLC, right? Some kind of Antarctic DLC for Subnautica? Give me the DLC! Speaking of other current series that I'm working on, I'm playing The Forest with a friend named Omega. He is quite busy. He's just two hours ahead of me, which is a lot better than my European friends. But hopefully we can keep playing that because I am really enjoying it and he's already played the game so I get to learn from him. But at the same time we get to goof around and we can cut out the boring bits where he's teaching me stuff. And we get to the fun bits when we're playing with Nick and Cannibal Ladies. Ooh. I'm still playing Witch Hunt and I'm going after this giant tree now. I killed the beast. I have to kill the tree. And there's a witch following me around because I can't kill the witch until I kill the tree. It's an alright early access survival FPS game. Check out that series if you think that you might like a survival horror FPS type game. Overcooked 2, that's the current series we've got going on with Paige the Mage. We played it last Friday night for quite a while. Drinks were involved. My speech got pretty bad towards the end, but I busted it into two different videos for you guys. I hope you check it out. It was a lot of fun. We also played the next night, mostly sober, and we still had a blast. And that'll be part 3 coming out soon as well. There's always the possibility of more VR games. Guys, I have an Oculus Rift. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I can see what I can do. I got a few bucks lying around, you know, not from YouTube, but I got a few bucks. I've got this new series idea I've been toying around with called Diabon Dungeons. I really like dungeon crawler games. I like roguelike games. I enjoy the Metroidvania style games like Dead Cells, Slay the Spire, Darkest Dungeons. Hell, I still play Diablo 3 from time to time. I enjoy stuff like that, so I think there's a possibility I could still play those games in my own time, but also give you guys some content of me playing those games. The Abin Dungeons. Think about it. Let me know. Leave the comments below. As I mentioned earlier, I stream four nights a week on both Twitch and YouTube, and it's a great chance, great opportunity. Is it? No, I'm a terrible person. <laughs> it's an opportunity for you guys to come out and chat and just hang out with me or even just listen while you're doing something else. Uh, it's engaging because the chat isn't flying by a mile a minute and I, it doesn't matter what I'm playing I'm looking at the chat. I'm trying to read everything. If I don't say it out loud I still read it and if you really want me to read something be like Diab look at my previous message a dirtbag But don't say dirtbag or you could say dirtbag. It doesn't matter Mods might time you out I added this little thing when I was playing prey called the hot seat I have 11 different really hot hot sauces ranging from 500 Scoville's, not that hot, up to 2 million plus Scoville's. And I'm getting more and more in because I'm subscribed to this Hot Ones, which is a YouTube channel. Amazing. There's, there's this bald guy that hosts it. He's not as cool as me, but he's bald, so we gotta give him props. So whenever I die in the game, I will let someone in chat pick out a number between 1 and 11, and that'll increase as I get more sauces, and I'll take a little tasty too. A tasty too? Taste it, Lou? I use a toothpick, but I, I... Did I just lose a toothpick? It's usually a generous amount, and if it's not that hot of a sauce, I'll just take it straight from the bottle. Like a little baby, from the nip. Except it's not a nip, it's a hellfire and flame. I haven't really been using that lately, but I did get a few donations on some streams a few weeks ago, and they said, hey, do the hot seat. So I, I ridiculously did too many and I, I killed my butthole the next day. But. Hole. <laughs> but it was still fun and I will throw that back in whenever I can. Because I'm streaming on OBS, I got a cool little scene for it where I'm in like this throne chair and there's like flames flying around with like flickering noises and like demonic music. I gotta admit within the past year how stagnant the channel got also put me in a funk and when you see all these really big YouTubers talk about how like they're depressed and they're sad and you're like you make so much money 
not, but that's why it's so sad. sad. But it happens to it happens to me, it happens to them. So even if the success comes, even if the subscribers fly up like like a like Superman, you're still gonna feel that way. I'm trying to get myself into a mental state where I can treat this as more of a hobby because that's what it is. I make I make some money off of it, guys. It's not much. It's it's less than like fifty bucks a month. I put too much time and effort for that to even be worth anything, but it's not a problem because I have grown. It's been nearly four years. Actually, in a few days, it's been four years since I made my first terrible GTA video, and um, I've only grown since then with the help of you guys, my personality. I've been able to come out of the shell, per se, per se. How they say, how you do, how you do, I do well. I've said this before, growing up, you didn't talk, well, for my age group, you didn't talk while playing games. You just sat there, you shut the fuck up, and you play the game. And you enjoy it, and you soak it in. So it took a while for me to sit here and entertain nobody, because I'm entertaining you in the future, and to actually get decent at it? Am I decent at it now? I don't think so. But I'm getting better. I'm always getting better. I feel like it's like a song. Always getting better. Before we go, I want to talk about merch. I got some new merch. I don't own the merch yet, but it's from Cyborg Seal. You can find her on DeviantArt and Tumblr. Check out this picture. Check out this picture. Check out this picture. Check out this picture. That's merch. We got a Redbubble store, and we also have the merch on the Streamlabs store through Streamlabs, obviously, when I stream on Twitch and YouTube, you can check that out as well. Some really cool designs. I want to add some mugs onto the Twitch store. I haven't done that yet, but they are on Redbubble, so check that out if you like. Even if you don't buy anything, at least if you check out the artwork, it's amazing. Cyborg Seal is amazing. She does commissions, and I can't recommend her enough. She's done a great job at portraying myself personality wise and even my dog she has all four of those pictures their personalities are to a freaking T and before we go I just want to give a shout out to my friend crop of the bread he is streaming every fucking day on twitch he is doing amazing his twitch follower count has already surpassed my own he has created a community of friends on there he's going out he's fighting all these cool streamers and they're getting this group together and he is very very good at, at, at what he does. He knows the social media aspects of everything. Well, I'm sitting over here and I'm just like, I don't like Twitter. I don't want to talk to people. I'm chewing some ice. It's all about fun. Let's just have some fucking fun. If we get the 6,000 subscribers, I got a special video I'm going to record with a friend. It'll be with a personal friend. It'll be... With the lights, it'll be live. It won't be live, but it's gonna be an actual, like, thing. And it's gonna have the hot sauces involved, so... Let's get the 6,000 fucking subscribers already. Jesus Christ! Only 94,000 before I get my silver play button. And yeah, I'm retiring. Got more ice. That's gonna do it for the update video. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I'm gonna play this Miss Survival game in about five minutes, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you live on Wednesday on Twitch and YouTube for a hat in time. We're gonna finish it. Thursday will be Bioshock Infinite Throwback Thursday with Booker in the Bay. Friday will be a new main game in the streaming series if I finish hat in time on Wednesday. And I will see you guys next time. Adios. Sayonara, aloha, and goodbye.